this was an um, opportunity that came about, you know, um, with, with me wanting to get back into basketball. You know, I've been um, retired since 2012. And, um, you know, I've been wanting to get back into basketball, made a couple phone calls. And, um, you know, one of my friends was able to hook me up with Steve. And, um, you know, Steve was willing to sit down and, you know, have a conversation with me. And I told him, you know, how I was, you know, passionate about, you know, one day maybe working in the front office and um, seeing I could, if I could have a chance to build a championship team, you know, from the front office. You know, I was fortunate enough to play on a championship team, you know, on the court. And um, I think it would be special if I can, you know, build a championship team, you know, from the front office. And so, so it was it was a great opportunity, and I'm, you know, appreciate that I got this opportunity. And uh, not only being in a front office role, but it gives you a chance. And I know they they want your name, and it helps with the brand with the team. But you have an opportunity to work with some of the guys and the players as well. Yeah, I mean, being in the front office, you know, um, it, it frees me up to to move around a little a little bit everywhere, so I can, um, you know. Work with the guys, you know, mentor some guys, you know, um, you know, talk to the coaches, you know, get get game plans and, and stuff like that. So you know, I think it's gonna, you know, it's definitely gonna be, um, you know, beneficial, you know, to our guys, and um, you know, even reach out to some of the Pistons guys, man, just try to uh, just try to give back wherever I can. I know you said that you would take this opportunity elsewhere, but how important is it to you, or how much do you enjoy the fact that it's related with, obviously, the franchise you're forever related to. Um, you know, by the drive being related, you know, directly to the Pistons, you know, it's um, it's just a blessing, you know, because it's it's like coming back home, you know, um, you know, all the fans here still love and appreciate me, and you know, I still love and appreciate them, you know, it's giving me an opportunity to come back to familiar territory, you know, um, so it, it's not like I'm going somewhere else and feeling like I got to start all the way back over, you know, I just come in and pick up where I left off, so um, it, it was, you know, it's an awesome, awesome opportunity, you know. Um, we're looking to grow the to grow this brand, you know, to uh, you know help be successful on the court and off the court. You know, to help our young guys, you know, be able to go out and perform well on the court, and um, as well be you know stand up citizens in the community. As a guy who went from undrafted free agent to a four time defensive MVP, you relate to a lot of these guys and the challenges they're facing. Yes, you know, I, I figure if the uh, if the G League would have been around, you know, when I was coming through that I probably definitely would have made a stop here, you know. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a league that helped keep dreams alive. You know, the, um, the guys that come here, you know, they come here, they play hard, and, and, they, and they, they prove to their um, big brother team that they're willing to put in the work, they're willing to make sacrifices, you know, to reach the ultimate goal, and that's to play in the NBA court. A lot of folks disappointed that what the brand you guys built in Detroit, the hard hats come to work, has kind of disappeared there. Your thoughts on, you know, the Pistons situation now with them letting Stan go and, you know, what's happening with the big club right now? Um, the big brothers are, you know, definitely figuring things out. You know, um, they got some things they need to figure out. But, um, you know, I'm confident in the fact that they're going to get it done. You know, um, like every, every other fr NBA franchise, you know, they always seem to bounce back, you know, um, when um, – when the original bad boys, you know, left, you know, it sort of left a void. And um, we came through and filled that void. So um, it's going to be a rotation of, of different players coming together, playing as one, you know, cohesive unit, you know, to build this team back up. So, you know, we're not looking for a quick fix. You know, I think the, um, the Pistons are definitely going to, um, you know, put together some things and, uh, you know, get this thing turned around. You know, got a brand new arena. You know, we love to see that arena packed every night like it was at the Palace. I know the bad boys are pretty proud when you guys came along, maybe disappointed in between. You know, is that does it hurt you guys to see what's happened to the franchise from where you had it? Um, I wouldn't say it hurt, but um, you always want to um, be proud and, and, and root for your team, you know, root for your organization. Um, you know, we, we're cheering for the guys, you know, that's on the floor, that take the floor every night. Um, but, um, you know, like I said, it's going to take it's going to take a little more sacrifice, you know, a little more dedication, a little more hard work, you know, to get the franchise back to where um, where we would want to see it. You know, as a former player, you know, you expect your franchise to win every game. But, you know, that's not always the key. That's not, not always the answer. But the key is just coming out, working hard, just getting the guys to buy into the system and come out and work hard every night. And a lot of work for you to do here. But is there a big long term goal of, you know, someday doing this at the NBA level as well? Um, one step at a time, yeah. but but maybe maybe uh, maybe I can see myself there. And one last question: uh, Not too many players have owners who could probably be the best player on their team. Your thought was working with the guys. It's gonna be fun. Um, it's gonna be fun. You know, it's, it's definitely gonna be a challenge. You know, um, I think I got a lot to offer. You know, it's just um, you know this giving me a, giving me a, um, a avenue to uh, you know to help some some young kids reach their dream. You know, I had a lot of help 
when I was coming along. And, you know, I had to do it the hard way. You know, these kids got to do it the hard way. But uh, but it's possible. You know, just I just want to just instill in them and let them know that, man, like, everything is possible. You know, if Ben Wallace can do it, then, you know, it's possible for you also.